Yeah, uh, we, we take a look at them, obviously, individually. Didn't want to overreact yesterday. You see the tape. Um, you know, obviously not pleased with some of the stuff, uh, especially the, the pre-snap things. Mm-hmm. You know, you're going to have some penalties of aggression that we need to clean up. The pre-snap alignment ones, uh, obviously disappointed in, and we got to get that cleaned up. That's the stuff that really affects the games. Uh, it's what you got to give Philly credit, but – we don't need to help them on those four-point swings down there in the red zone. So, and then the one on the extra point, that's a, that's a, we can't have that. You know, gives them a, you know, if it's 14-6, yeah, it's not the prettiest game, but it's a one-possession game. Those are the little things. They go for two, they get it. Now it's 15-6. Um, what about the ones where they wiped out, you know, you got a lot of wiped nullified yards that uh, not for the pick plays. And- yeah, you know, I don't want to. Those guys have a hard, hard job as it is. Uh, opt, you know, I put it this way. Here's the best way I can answer that. Whether I agree with it or not, that not, was not our intent on those plays. I mean, they're sitting back playing zone coverage. Pretty much everybody in the stadium can see that. Uh, but the optics of the transition is what hurt them. I, I understand why they called them. Um, like I said, it's, we got to clean that up. And it is what it is. But yeah, uh, obviously those, uh, Certainly didn't help us at, at critical moments. Did Jalen oh, uh, thing felt a little um, uh, felt felt like he you know might might have meant the game might have got too big for him? Did, did, after film review, how did y'all feel about that? Well, I wouldn't say it got too big for him. Uh, certainly, he's not going to be pleased with his performance, and you know he knows what the issues are. Uh, he's a tough-minded guy. You know, the, the situation, it is what it is. When Josh gets hurt, uh, and then again, we'll, we'll value this week, whether we play Drew in there or if there's somebody else out there. So, and it's it's when you're bringing rookie linemen on in the interior, it wasn't the, it wasn't the plan to play them early. We got them the reps in the preseason. There's things he's got to work on. I got all the faith in the world that he'll, he'll be just fine eventually. And you're going against that kind of front. And when it got obvious, um, you become one-dimensional. It's certainly an advantage to them, especially when you're playing that kind of front. Mm-hmm. Well, I do you think that the, uh, that the uh, run game was pretty successful early? Why do you think it tapered off? Um, well, here, here's the simple and I'm not trying to sound patronizing or anything like that. So you get into the game, you know, we, we have about 31 snaps in the first two drives, came away with six points. So credit Philadelphia. And so you get into those drives, you feel like you're in good rhythm. Uh, we had a good balance. Um, you know, we, we, we knew how we started it. If you, if you want to blame, you know, conservatively, yeah, we got to go p- punch the ball in there and find a way to score touchdowns. And so those are big momentums. Those are what I call four-point swings. I think we had about 40 snaps in the first three drives with six points to show. And so you're, all, you're balanced. Uh, I thought we were running the ball pretty well. Then we had the situation backed up, and I did play it conservatively. You know, we tried to get the ball out of there. Milk a little uh, time off the clock, knowing they got the ball to start the second half and just get into that drive and, and then let's go down and score some, some points. And then, you know, we had the false start. I got in there, tried to pop a run. So, you know, that's a fair criticism there. Why well, didn't pick it up? Because we were backed up and I didn't want to give them the opportunity to go pin their ears back. Um, but those are the ones, those are the discussions you have, you know, the post, you know, after action reports, whatever term you want to do when we're talking as a staff. And I, and I put that on myself. In a, in a seven six game, that's where I felt we were, and I didn't want to go lose it backed up. So hindsight, sure, I wish I had called a, uh, something maybe different on third down. But uh, you know, we had multiple chances to get them off the field. Coming back, they score late in that half, um, and then we had the penalty, and they go for two. So, but still, it's plenty of football left, and we don't. And then so in the second half, you get the ball back, uh, we get behind the sticks, penalty. So, and you're in a lot of second and longs and third and longs, and they add up on you. Right. Yeah, and then we, we, you know, you have a chance to overcome one. We had a first and 20, you hit pits up the seam. There's second and two, you go, we have a miscommunication. Um, again, they put that on me. And, you know, we're, we're trying to uh, jam a run in there, get going on drive, and we damn near lost it on a fumble. So that's kind of to answer your question, Scott. And then you got to make a decision at some point, you got to speed up and, and and go, give yourself a chance to win the game. So when we got behind, credit to Philly, 
they made us kick field goals. We got down, and we did nothing to capitalize, really, from uh, that backed-up situation through the rest of the game. Well, you evaluate it. I mean, there's nothing that's, you know, it's, it's a fine line between saying, hey, let's jerk the wheel, and there's things that we want to see uh, maybe done a certain way. And he's, he's willing. And like I said, he's a rookie in his first start against a really good front. He didn't back down. I mean, there's things that you, you certainly you can say and whatever. Uh, he knows how we feel, but look, it, it, it's a long season, and hopefully he has a long career. Uh, it'll get cleaned up. I got faith in him. But, but at the same, same time, you don't want to be – if Drew comes in there, you know, he had a false start, but I thought Drew competed in there, and we, we, we got to keep that going. I and mean, we got to play the best five to give us a chance to win on Sunday. You consider looking at the waiver wire at this point? Is there, are there guys out there that you think could be an upgrade? Or? You know, Michael, at every position, we're going to look to upgrade the team. So if there's guys out there that we feel like can help this team, we're certainly going to look, and that'll be every week, regardless of the position. Uh, I want to go back to the pass interference, uh, two offensive pass interferences. How much of that was maybe mistakes by Calvin, by Hunt, by, by Hunter versus, or Hayden versus play design? Well, they're just passes against zone coverage. So guys are flying out to cover the flat. Um, you know, we, they're not schemed up against man coverage. And so when you, you know, people run pick plays when you scheme up and certainly if the guys are playing press at the line of scrimmage, you may have a scheme pick play in and, you know, they give you a yard and as long as you don't look ridiculous and, and knock the guy over, you're allowed to do that. Those are the rules. Um, those are usually the ones that get called, right? And so what happens is there was a collision. The guy's fl flying to the flat. They're playing quarters of that side. He's flying. The backer's coming from inside to go in there. Hayden's going to turn around. It's bang, bang. And that's what they see. And I'm not, I'm, getting, I'm not criticizing the officials. I'm just saying schematically, those aren't pick plays. And that's what happened. And so the one on third down to, to Calvin, similar thing, the guy's coming inside. He transitioned, the ball's in the air. And again, it's optically what happened in the body language, sure. That's what they call it. And that's not a criticism of the officials. That's just what happened. But they're not like designed. We, know, we knew we were getting zone coverage. And so um, we can clean that up. You know, it's just, it's unfortunate. I mean, those were, those were um, critical mistakes in a, in a tight ball game in the third quarter with plenty of possessions left. And, you know, we're talking a lot about the offensive stuff. But for you, how do you feel like everything went operationally for you in your first game? I mean, in terms of what, what like, what are you asking? You know, every Ever, like from communication, the, communica communication, working with Matt, with working with Matt, getting things in and out because we hadn't seen that. Like, how did all of that go? Yeah, through? it was fine. I mean, that, that wasn't that wasn't our issue. Um, you know, our, our issue clearly was you know execution, um, penalties. You know, getting ourselves in a lot of obvious pass situations, a lot of third and longs. It's, it's going to be hard to convert, uh, convert a lot of third and longs. When you're getting, you know, you're constantly trying to get back on track. That'll be any week, um, you know. Similar, you, you know, you, you start the game, like I said, and, you, and you're, you're in rhythm, but you don't have any, you don't come away with points. And so that's, and then you get behind, and at some point you got to pick the ball up to give yourselves a chance to, to go win the game. And that's what happened. And so credit to Philly. With, with the amount of scheme that has been put in, how much freedom does Matt have to move in and out of stuff? At the line of scrimmage, if he needs to, or is that not is that not there yet with what you guys are doing? No, I mean, look, without getting a lot of schemes, I think you're going to find any offense in the NFL. I think it's been this way for a long time. I think there's a little, uh, you know, audible is one of those words that sounds very, it's very vague and, and subjective. There could be a lot of things. Most people package plays, and so whether you go, it's either A or B, depending on certain looks and, and parameters you may give the quarterback. Uh, and then they, you know, there's certain situations that you may say, "Hey, alert!" and completely wipe this out of it. Those are parameters, and every situation is different. But I, I don't know of an offensive scheme in the NFL that doesn't probably package plays in some capacity. And so that's pretty standard operating procedure. But uh, you know, days of just completely wiping and calling your own plays, I, I don't know who, who does that. And I guess it's really not my concern uh, unless we're playing against somebody like that. So I just how we do it is. Pretty standard.
you may package things, you may have some call and run it, and you may have some parameters that you may go down there in situational football. I'll preface this by saying I haven't watched the entire game in review, but mm -hmm. just from some things that I was looking at, it really did feel like Matt just didn't have any time to get through his progressions. And I mean, from your point of view, how much time, how much more time does he need to get through those? Well, any quarterback, when you you get going to get affected, you know, here's the simplest way to put it. They did a nice job when we had to drop back or to affect us, um, and we didn't on the on the flip side, and that's that, that'll be the case every week. You look around the league, you watch watch games, teams that are getting home and affecting the quarterback, it's usually going to be a pretty decent day defensively, and vice versa on offense. So we got to do a better job of making sure that we. Don't become obvious and 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 where you're just sitting back there and, and any quarterback if you if you if you make you basically one and done, it's going to be a long day. So that's why I got to do a better job of, of of coaching, making sure we're we're in better situations. I know we talked about you know in that context, you know math and offensive line, but how much of that just schematically is also on receivers to get into their routes? Did you, did you see anything like that when you were going through? I mean, the plan was. Um, you know, not to let these guys really tee off. I mean, so when when you don't, like I said, when you don't convert those opportunities early into touchdowns and you get down, you saw what happens. Um, so, and we had a plan. I mean, as we were going to, and, and when you're obviously adapting, and, and I think somebody asked me the question yesterday, you know, what did they do in the second half? Well, they got ahead and they really didn't change anything. And, they felt they could get home with four, and they sat back and played zone. Um, you get penalties. We're in obvious situations. We're off track. You don't run the ball, and we're we're out of rhythm. And so I got to find a better way to get us jump started when when you get into those lulls in the game because they're going to happen. You will show you know every possession. Hey, it's right down there, but that's not life in the NFL. So um, you know Matt executed the plan. Uh, obviously, we would love to have gotten into more of it. Like I said, we got down and we became one-dimensional. Defensively, how, what did maybe the, some of the zone reads that broke for big plays early change in what y'all were doing? Or maybe uh, we anticipated that. Uh, we, like I said, it, it goes back here, and I know it's on a broken record, but you know we got to play a little more fundamentally sound. Um, and they did a nice job. I mean, the quarterback got out, and you know at least make them make the play one-on-one. -on -one, uh, I would argue don't don't help them. When you you know you misfit something, or miss a line. So there's all these things are correctable. Uh, we know we hit the play in all three phases. Uh, that's not lost on us, and we got to do a better job. And like I said yesterday, I mean the whole name of this game here is improvement from week to one. You cannot be the same team week one as you are going in each week as you climb because there's gonna ebbs and flows, and we got to improve, and we got to do it in a hurry this week because we got a hell of a challenge Sunday down in Tampa at four o'clock. So. Yeah, and it's, it's what you sign up for the NFL. It's the most competitive league in my mind in, in all pro sports. And that's the beauty of it. And, and you better be ready to go Sunday. And that's that's every week. Otherwise, if you make the mistakes we make, you deserve to lose. So we deserve to lose yesterday. How do you feel, how do you feel like um, um, Kyle's hits uh, did in, a, in, a, in, a, in his first game? How can you use that pace to help him improve? Sure. I think he kind of just answered it there. I mean, we, you know, certainly um, tried to get him going early. Didn't didn't do it, uh, but he stayed with it. You know, made a made a pretty tough catch on fourth down. Went for it on fourth down. wasn't pretty, but he, you know, he executed it. And uh, Matt was under you know duress there. They had, they had a pretty good call there, but again, that's what a veteran quarterback does. He knows your issues. He knows where you're hot, what you're doing, and give Kyle credit. And it, like again, that's not a flashy play in the stat sheet, but that was a conversion, and we needed to. When you take the risk to go for it on fourth down, uh, got into the game. We, you know, we multiple times. I mean, all those guys. I, I got to do a better job getting him and Russ into a game, into the game early. Uh, and, and Russell Gage, you know, he there were some opportunities. And the thing I can I can't say enough about Russell Gage is, as a lot of guys, it's like a basketball. You know, people want to touch the touch the ball, and I got to do a better job getting them the ball early. But Russell is a, is a real pro because he, he he's battling. I mean, he battled. I told him this morning. I mean, he did. You know, it says a lot about your character when the ball doesn't go your way, and how he competed. So I, I got to do a better job there. Uh, Kobe, uh, is that indoctrinated enough to be considered? Because you all look at everything up there. 
Yeah, I mean. You always try and other. Yeah, no, it, it you know it, it'll be a little bit on on before we get there with with uh, Matt, but uh, uh, Kobe, uh, that's we'll see and we'll see what practice looks like this week. I mean, all, all options on the table, Delight. Like the thing is, like you you can't it, you you have to fix it. You have to fix your problems. Like I said, you're you're in the solution business and you fix it and you give a guy an opportunity. And if they can't fix it, then we gotta we gotta do something to sit up here every Sunday and Monday. And complain about the same problems and same, shame on me. I got to do something different to help us, and that's that's what I signed up for, and that's coaching. Well, I got. I mean, everybody texting me. They're like, "Hey, what are they gonna do with Vader B and Sue?" They everybody was watching the game last Thursday, and uh, uh, I mean, I'm sure everybody you know want to know. Well, hey, uh, how's that gonna look? Well, you'd hope it'd look like it did a little bit earlier for us when we weren't uh, basically, you know down too many possessions where you're saying, telling everybody you got to pass. It. So, you know, like we're going to have challenges every week, D-Led. Um, there's growing pains. You've got to see improvement. Or like I said, I, it's all these guys know. We, it, you're going to have to make a decision. But you're going to give that guy an opportunity, and you've got to find the right, the, the fine line of not, like I said, jerking the wheel, see if you can correct some of the issues. Like I said, he's a rookie in his first time. There's a lot of rookies that have had a lot worse starts than him. And there was a plan to bring him along, but you have to adapt. Guy goes down as a veteran, he steps up. And as we got in that game early, we knew we were going to go through some growing pains. Again, that's a really good front. And, and either, like I said, like, you know, I said, you're going to get baptized at some point. And now he's, he's, he's a chance. He's, he's been out there and either correct it and see how the journey goes this season. And, and at some point, if he doesn't, you got to make decisions. But it doesn't mean that somebody's career's over or you get some narrative that, oh, oh it's a, you know, whatever, whatever you want to make. So it's about improvement. And, and and I know if I know Jalen correctly, he'll come back and he'll battle. He's a rookie in his first game, and he he played the most snaps of all the rookies in his first game. And this uh, thing will be completed fairly quickly, but when Taylor McGarry ends up you know hurt the first couple of weeks and he's going to need Jalen out there, did that stunt maybe a little bit of what his growth might have been at left guard? Not what I see. The, not what we think the um, where the improvement needs to come from. I mean, as simple as that. Pad level, technique, whether you're playing tackle or left guard or center, or right guard, left tackle, tight end. If you don't get your pad level down and a guy gets underneath you, it's a big, strong guy in the NFL, it's going to be hard. So, you know, those things, you're sure, that's all fair. Like, it's the same thing you look back about, you know, play time, this, that, in the preseason. Okay, what, what would you do different? And I'm always going to look at my – and it starts with me. Look at myself, what do we do to help this – help this team, help this program. So, um, yeah, we had to. And, and you look back on it, and then, again, things happen. And it's my job to problem solve, and, and you have to have solutions. So it's fair to say, was that the best solution? Well, the results will tell you yesterday that it didn't work. So, But then you got to evaluate. You're going to get a, got a chance, and it's of a long career to improve. Um, and that's that's the best way to come in and practice and, and Give guys a shot to fix the mistakes from this week. What have they told you about the Tampa Bay rivalry? Because I mean, even the year they went to the Super Bowl, Quan Alexander and them came in here and beat them, and you know they get it going down there, um, and start shooting the cannons and all that. And so it's usually a tougher game than uh, you know we've done really. You know, the old throw out the record thing, but it's usually yeah. a tough battle uh, with the Bucks and. Uh, do let every game I've been in and involved in the NFL is tough. That's professional football. We know we got a work cut out for us. Uh, you know, they're defending Super Bowl champions. They got a lot of vet, veteran players that have played in a lot of games. And we're going down there at four o'clock. And and that's life in the NFL. It's what we signed up for. Nobody's a victim. You, you know, you deserve you play the way we did yesterday, you deserve to lose, but they're gonna kick that ball off next Sunday and we gotta get ready to go. And that's a challenge in the NFL and we gotta we gotta fix our problems. We got to be smart and find solutions. So, uh, like I said, it's what we signed up for. Look forward to the challenge, but we know it's a hell of a challenge. We get to go down and and compete. They have the opportunity to play against Tom Brady and the, and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Let me go back really quickly to what you said about getting the ball to the earlier. Um, I don't know if you want to answer it in this way, but I'm going to ask anyway. Sure. Um, how do you do that from a generalizing standpoint? Of you have these weapons, but you you have a 
about yeah. how to do it. Well, certainly, you know, you, you have plans and the defense does have a say and you better have a counter answer. And sometimes that's what happens early in the game. Um, now you can force some things to somebody in certain ways, but if that's not the best play, you know, you, you know, you don't want to force it into somebody and all of a sudden it's second and 10 right there. So I guess that is my, my, my challenge is to get the, get everybody involved earlier. Um, again, the, the, every week that defense has a say too, and you better have a, a second option, third option, or, or a counter punch. But I just, I've felt historically when guys get into the games early and that's true in most sports, but especially in football at the skill positions, it certainly usually benefits. But I, I will say that going back to Russ, it says a lot about his, his character. It sounds, you know, these guys are paid professionals, but again, you see a lot of stuff on tape and that's why I give Russell Gage a lot of credit. And, you know, he had some opportunities and things happened and, and the ball didn't go his way. Had some shots in the red zone and there's some cause and effect on some plays there. But Russ is a, is a, is a true pro and he's a competitor. Yeah. Those first two drives, obviously the save, that ideally what you see this offense being kind of personnel out of formation? Sure. Uh, you know, it's, it's, we want to, you know, like I said, I mean, we'll, we'll adapt every week to how you want to play to win. But, you know, the question kept being, hey, what, what does balance look for, look like for you? Well, that was a version of it, but we didn't do a good enough job down there and, and getting touchdowns. And, and, that's that's the challenge every week. We I, we got to improve down there. I got to do a better job helping us in the red zone, and, and we got to score a touchdown. Stating the obvious there. Anything else? All right, appreciate you guys. Thank you.